Hi, finally we have come to the last module of our subject data science and visualization. In this module we dive deep into a package of uh, Python called matplotlib which is very much useful in plotting and uh, making the data into visual form. Matplotlib it's a comprehensive library for creating static, animated, and interactive visualizations in Python. It is widely used for generating a wide range of plots and charts. It provides a flexible and powerful interface for creating publication quality visualizations for data analysis, scientific research, and presentation purposes. So the main features of uh, matplotlib, it's a flexible API, a wide range of plot types are available in this package and uh, any plot done through this package will provide us a very high quality publication ready plots so that uh, we can directly dump this into our uh, technical papers or uh, books and uh, will produce a wonderful print and uh, matplotlib can work on uh, multiple platforms so doesn't uh, depend on any particular platform so that's uh, another advantage and uh, most importantly so we can integrate matplotlib with numpy and pandas numpy is a python library which is used for uh, numeric uh, activities and pandas is another python library which essentially is useful with uh, tabular data reading the data writing the data modifying the data and this data, when it is in a big, uh, large number, we prefer to be in the tabular form. And pandas help us in uh, getting the data, retrieving the data and all that. And matplotlib uh, is uh, directly integrable with uh, this. And hence, it becomes easier to visualize the hidden patterns of the data. Now coming to the components of the matplotlib, uh, one of the components is pyplot module. It provides a MATLAB-like interface for creating and customizing plots interactively. The pyplot typically is used for quick and uh, simple plotting tasks. Then we have figure and axis objects. Here figure represents the entire window or the canvas where plots are drawn. So we define a figure and in that figure the subplot like so we can uh, use axis for uh, individual plotting areas within the figure. So we can create one figure as a uh, one full uh, canvas in that we can have patches of the plots as axis so with this uh, whole dashboard can be created with one figure and multiple axes then artist objects are used to represent uh, graphical elements like uh, li lines markers text and shapes so we are plotting the data to visualize how the data is changing and all it's always better to plot it so while plotting we may use lines so that's one object we may want to mark some points on the graph where we can use markers and if we have multiple categories then each marker may be given with different shape different colors and any details we can uh, add text to the plot to give 
a more better understanding about what plot we are talking about and uh, this artist objects can be manipulated to customize the appearance of the plots and we have another component called the backends which is used for rendering the plots used for displaying plots in graphical user interfaces and non interactive backends for generating plots in various file formats so if i want to save the uh, plots then i can plot them and save them in the background in the form of a file and the file format may be either png or pdf or svg and so on so these are some components of the matplotlib